Hello, when I first saw this animation, I got the idea that I could probably get pretty close to reproducing it with CSS. So let's see how. First off, we have a number of hues. That's eight. A number of repetitions for each hue. That's three. Then we compute a number of rings. That's the number of repetitions times the number of hues. Okay, and then we have a number of dots per ring. That's, let's say, 12 for now. Then we have a 3D assembly. Within it, we have a for loop. So for i, starting from 0, going all the way up to the number of rings. Um, incremented. And here we have our ring elements. Uh, then we have similar loop. So um, except here we have dots instead of rings. Um, and the loop index is j. Okay, so having done this, we have our dot elements and let's put them on the screen. So our uh, dot, let's give them a width, uh, let's give them a height, um, let's give them a background, uh, let's also set border radius so that they're round. Okay, now let's put them on, um, position them absolutely. So for all this, we set position absolute and we also set transform style preserve 3D. This is so that we can have 3D transforms on elements that are children of 3D transformed elements and they don't get flattened into the plane of their parents. So now that I've done this, let's put the assembly in the middle. So that's top 50%, left 50%. Okay, uh, but this puts the top left corner of the dot uh, at the 50%, 50% point. So we need a negative margin, that's half the dimensions of the dot. So um, if we want to avoid repetition, we just uh, do a, a dot radius. And this is half an M. And here we just replace this with padding dot radius. Um, also set margin minus dot radius. And now it's dead in the middle. Next thing we want to do is uh, distribute the rings. So um, ring, and we set a transform, rotate. Um, and this is going to be a rotation angle around the z-axis. And in order to compute this angle, we need to set a few things here. So first off, um, yeah. Style. We set the number of rings. And then on each ring, we also set in a style element uh, the current index. And I'm using k because this uh, is for the x uh, for the z axis. And it's like uh, the unit vectors, i for the x-axis, j for the y-axis, and k for the z-axis. Okay, so having done this, here I compute my angle. This is a calc, and it's k times one term over the number of rings. Now that I've done this, let's also set a translation along the y-axis, let's say, on no, calc minus 0.65 times the number of rings uh, times the dot diameter, uh, dot radius, sorry. Okay, so now they're distributed. Next thing I want to do is uh, just set uh, set up the scene and we'll make the body the scene. So give it full height and um, this creates this uh, ugly scroll bar. So let's get rid of it, margin zero. And also set perspective because this is uh, what helps us 
with the 3D. And this is pretty exaggerated, but it doesn't really matter. Now, here we also want to set a transform rotate. Um, and this is going to be a rotate x, and the angle is going to be an incline angle. And let's say it's going to be 45 degrees. I don't know, might be too big, might be too small. Just leave it incline. Um, okay, so now that I've done this, let's collapse the ring. Uh, and here, let's set transform. And the last thing we do is rotate x by minus that incline. And there's another rotation we need to undo. It's this one from right here. So um, in order to undo that one, we have to have this and we put it inside the calc. We multiply with minus one. And now all dots should be facing us. Okay, they are. Good. Now, here we have a rotate x. This is going to use another custom property. Uh, and in order to compute this one, uh, we need to, to set a few more things here. So um, we also need to set the number of dots. So um, number of dots. And we also set in a style element so that uh, we don't have um, those repeated because then they get repeated for every ring and we don't want uh, to have repetition. So we have uh, a loop here uh, and this is only up to the number of dots. So here we have dot nth child here we have uh, i plus 1, and here we set i to the loop index. Okay, so having done this, I do something similar as I did here. Let's collapse this and this as well. So um, this is going to be Along the around the x axis, so that's going to be i. This is the number of dots, uh, and we don't want it to cover one turn, just half a turn. So now that I've done this, we need uh, to undo that one as well. So I have rotate x, and um, this is going to be x there, uh, and then I also have a translation along the last axis and here I have a calc uh, 0.2 times uh, the number of dots times the dot radius let's see how that works out okay something else I want to do at the end I want to have a scale scale and this is going to be calc um, i plus 1 um, over the number of dots. Let's see. Okay, this is starting to look like something. Uh, we also want to give them different hues. So let's take care of that as well. Okay, so first off, we have different hues for the rings. Um, this is going to be our hue. Uh, so here I have the number of hues, uh, n plus. Okay, and here I set a hue that's going to be i times 360 over the number of hues. Now that I've done this, let's set a background here. 
this is HSL. Let's see, 65, 65%. Okay, now it's starting to look like something. Um, let's give a background to the body so that we have better contrast. Next off, we add an offset angle right here. So, offset angle, which is 0 degrees uh, initially. And we want to animate that offset angle, but first we need to register it. So here we have name. Sorry about the dog, I guess it's feeling lonely again. Syntax. volume zero degrees and then we have inherit true okay now having done this I can create a keyframe animation here so keyframes to bring my offset angle to 360 degrees, but I can also use one turn here, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'll be having animation on offset angle for seconds, uh, linear, infinite. Let's see, does this do anything? Yes, it does. Surprisingly, it does. Uh, okay, it's kind of going the wrong way. Let's see about that. Okay, uh, we don't want them to animate at the same time, so um, what we do is set uh, this as an animation duration and use that here and have a delay, so that's going to be calc. Um, this uses uh, k times minus the animation duration uh, over the number of rings. So um, this should do it, and let's make things nicer with more dots. Okay, I think it's going the opposite way, so let's fix that. Um, minus one turn there, and that should do it. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have anyone want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. Donations are suspended for now, but you can still make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.